The sensitivity of the two upcoming mental health topics has caused admin to have to remodel their delivery methods. When the state required five hours of mental health instruction to be delivered to students, one of the requirements was that we not do mental health instruction on Fridays. We petitioned to our district to allow us to use our home rooms to deliver the mental health instruction. They said that was fine, however, there were a couple of topics they did not want us to do on a Friday, and those two topics were depression and suicide awareness. With, the, with depression and suicide talk, a lot of times it can be triggering for people who have struggled or even teachers who have had that in their past. So we wanted to open it up on a Wednesday so then they know that if they come to school Thursday and Friday and they're still thinking about it, they have easy access to us as counselors um, or like a trusted teacher or an adult they can talk to about it. Before COVID, we held um, seminars where we would bring in grade levels into the auditorium and have our guidance counselors deliver to a large mass of students at once. With COVID, we haven't had that opportunity. One question that arises is how non brick and mortar students will receive this curriculum. So our plan is to do it via Zoom, kind of like have a video out there. We're hopeful like that will work. And then the dual enrollment students, this is kind of the same thing. Like we'll have the videos out there, we'll have the information out there. If they want to come talk to us or if they want to call us or anything like that, like they'll still have that opportunity. This has been Tenley Paul reporting for WCTZ News.